Hi everybody, this is Laura, City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I have a layout that I made using the February My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition Kit. As soon as I saw this beautiful paper that was in the kit this month from Prima Marketing, I knew that I wanted to stitch along the hearts. I used two different stitches and I alternated between them. I know that one of the stitches is a plain stitch called a back stitch, and I'm not sure. I think the second stitch might be called a chain stitch. They're both very easy stitches. I am definitely not an expert on stitching, but I do love to stitch on my scrapbooking layouts because I just love the texture that it gives to the pages. I watched a YouTube video that explained very clearly how to do all the different types of stitches or all the main types of stitches. So if I can find that video, I will link that in the description box as well. I will also list all the numbers of the different colors that I used that I think match really well with this paper. They're all the DMC brand of embroidery thread and I use all six strands. I also like to embellish my pages with some strips of three millimeter adhesive pearls and I get those from the Brad and Eyelet outlet and they are pretty handy for quickly applying to the layouts and I just think that it adds a nice touch. On this layout, I use a number of elements from the ephemera pack and then also some from the chipboard pack as well. Right now I'm using some Distress Oxide in Victorian Velvet to ink the edges of all of these ephemera and chipboard pieces. I'm assembling my photo now. I have a photo of my daughter Danielle and her boyfriend Max. And since this is a love themed layout, I thought that it would be cute to have a picture of the two of them together. I cut the picture to size. I mounted it behind that frame. And then I used one of the cards that was in the ephemera pack. I offset it slightly and then I attached it behind the photo. Now I'm using some thick white cardstock from my stash. I'm going to attach that behind this little mini photo cluster here. This just makes the photo a little more sturdy and then that way when I pop it up on some foam, it won't sag once I have it on the layout for a while. I have to apologize for my voice. I'm just a little tiny bit under the weather. I have a sore throat, but nothing serious, but it is impacting my voice, so I'm sorry about that. Now I picked out a whole bunch of scraps of foam to put behind the photo and I am piecing them together. I usually like to save the white foam for other purposes, like when I have something that's very thin that I wanna pop up on foam, but it was kind of a raggedy piece, so I just decided to use that and a bunch of other little scraps that I had. So once I had the photo popped up on foam, I began playing with the ephemera pieces. At first, I thought I could have these two swans in the center of the layout, and I have to tell you that I really love the two swans. I think that it's cute the way they're facing each other, and then the little banner that says sweet love, I think that looks cute with the two swans. Later on though, I'm going to change it just because I think that having the two swans was just too much and I didn't like the way one of the swans was behind the photo. I just didn't like the composition of that. So I am gonna end up removing the swan that's on the right, but I do think that it's pretty cute to have the two swans facing each other. I love this chipboard tag that was in the kit. It's the same pattern as the pattern paper. And normally I wouldn't use two things with the same pattern on the same page, but it was such a mini version of it that I thought it actually looked kind of cute. And I liked the way it brought all of the same colors into that photo cluster. I just love using banners on my layouts. I've been using them a lot lately and the ephemera pack had two of these really pretty heart-shaped banners. And so I fussy cut just a little of the white border off of it and then I placed it underneath the photo cluster. I just think banners make everything look so much more festive. I'm placing a chipboard flower cluster to the right of the photo. I moved the banner that says sweet love from over the swans to somewhat below them. Like I said, though, I am going to be moving that cluster around and rearranging it later, but that banner that says sweet love, that's going to be the title of my layout. I added an ephemera piece that is a clip to the top of the photo cluster. 
And then I started playing around with some of the flower clusters that were in the ephemera pack. Once again, I trimmed off just a little bit of the white border around them. And I started that second cluster that's on the upper left-hand corner with one of those clusters and then a little envelope that says love you on it. And now I'm using some of those gorgeous dimensional flowers that come in the kit and I'm trying to decide where I want those to go on the layout. In the upper left-hand corner, I have a ticket worked into that cluster as well. It just helps to anchor all of the other elements that are in that cluster. I added a heart between the two swans and then I was thinking it might look nice to have some larger pearls going around that center heart. I have sheets of pearls. I have three different size pearls and I always use up the smallest ones first. So I have a lot of leftover kind of regular size pearls, but they are bigger than the other pearls that are on the sheet. And so this was a great opportunity to use up some of those pearls and I like the way it adds some emphasis to the center of the hearts. I added a white bow from my stash to each of the clusters. I layered a very small punched out heart on top of the pink heart from the ephemera pack and put that between the two swans. I added a pearl as well. And then I began adding some leaves. These were left over from another layout and I really like them and I do end up using them, but not on this layout. I was thinking that a slightly larger leaf would look better. I leave those leaves there for a little while and I added a few pearls to the layout. I have two pink pearls. One is on the pink heart that's above the swans and the other one is on the letter in the upper left hand corner. But I also add a few more pearls to the layout. I'm using some very tiny pearls this time. I put a small pearl on each of the two white bows. And now I'm using my scissors and I'm placing one in between each section of that heart banner. I just love the detail that this adds to some of the embellishments on the page. I just think that it makes them just look a little bit more finished. I continue to play around with those leaves a little bit. For a while I was thinking I might make more of them and then finally I decided I would just take them off the layout and use a different leaf. Right now I'm adding a scalloped border to the top of the layout. I fussy cut this from one of the pattern papers. It was a whole sheet of scallops. And if you're interested in seeing everything that was in this month's kit, I will link the unboxing video in the description box. And this is where I decided that I was gonna have to decide on just one swan. And I picked the swan that's there because it was facing to the right and looking toward the photo. And then I moved the Sweet Love title on top of the swan. And I think that that looks a little bit better as far as the composition of the page goes. I decided to move the layered heart to the clip that's on top of the photo. I also added a chipboard heart to the cluster on the upper left-hand corner. Just like I did with the photo cluster, I added a piece of white cardstock behind the swan to make it a little bit more sturdy. I did that off camera, and then I added some fun foam to the back of it so that I could pop it up off the page a little bit. And then I was thinking that it would make sense to do the same thing with the title. So I reinforced that. This time I'm doing it kind of on camera. It's kind of low there on the screen, but you could see that I added some cardstock to the back of it and then I added some fun foam and now both the swan and the title are popped up and I like that little bit of dimension. After looking at the flowers for a while I decided that I didn't like the way it was three flowers that were kind of the same size all in a row so I decided to switch out the pink flower put it in the center and then add the bright pink flower to the right hand side the pink flower in the center is a little bit bigger and I think that that gives the cluster a more interesting look. In order to create these new leaves, I used a Pink Fresh Studio dye called Just Leaves and then I used a Ranger embossing powder called Tinsel Gold and I embossed each of the leaves twice with that embossing powder. I always like to emboss twice. I think that it gives better coverage and it gives the embossing just a tiny little bit of dimension. I know that some people like to emboss three and four times and that also looks really nice as well but I think two is enough for me. I'm tucking them in to a lot of the same places that I had the other leaves tucked into. I think that this size leaf 
goes along a little bit better with the layout. The other leaves looked a little bit lost. They were just a little bit too small. I've been getting a lot of use out of this leaf die set. I think I really like it because there are multiple dies in the set. It's not just one or two dies. So I like the way the leaves look a little bit different with each of the different dies. After I decided where I wanted to put all of the branches, I used some gel glue and I attached them down to the layout. And you can see that I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the base of the stem and tucking them in. And then that way the leaves are still a little bit raised from the layout. And I like the way that gives a little bit of shadow and dimension to the leaves. If you like, you could just glue the whole thing down to your layout. That's just something I like to do. Earlier, I added a gold heart to the swan, so there'd be a little bit of gold in that part of the layout. So I added a pearl to the center of the heart and to the banner that says, with love. And I also added a tiny pearl to the center of the heart on the tag and to the little heart that's on the envelope as well. I thought that those pearls were going to be the finishing touches, but then something told me that I should add some of these bud or berry dies to the layout. I die cut them in white, and I think that they add a nice little detail and a nice touch of white to each of the clusters. There's just something about these little tiny branches tucked in together with the gold leaves that I really like, and I used this idea quite a bit on my layouts this month. Once I had positioned all of those little branches around the page, I again used my gel glue and I just put a dab of glue on the base of each of the die cuts to attach them down to the page. I made a little repair on one of the pearls that came up and those can be fixed in place with some glossy accents. It's great for pearls and jewels. And that's the last touch and here are some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you take a look in the description box, you'll find the link to the My Creative Scrapbook website where you can check out all of this month's kits and you can order one as well. There are also links to all of their social media so you could see all of the layouts that were made with the kits this month. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.